Right off the bat, you can see how amazingly beautiful Atlas is, and there's no wonder that a lot of people uh, were interested in it. You know, it's a pirate game, it's an MMO, it's massive, supposedly 40,000 people, which is... Uh, uh, I don't know if that's really true, that 40,000 people on the same server is really going to ever happen, but, you know, it's a survival game, and it's pirates, and that in itself is enough to make people want to buy a game, so, you know, any game developer that wants to make a quality game and does it pirate themed where you gotta you know be on the ship then remember that your competition is uh, atlas and um uh, what was that other game sea of thieves yeah there's a competition so uh, it's a pretty smart you know theme to make a game around and uh, so there's like right now there's probably like fifty thousand people playing this game uh probably i don't know how many sales it's got but uh probably like 300,000 or something, 400,000, 400,000 is my guess. Um, the reviews on this game, however, uh, it's like 70% um, negative, so 30% like this game. And no wonder why, because the game doesn't work. Don't buy this game, that's my advice to anyone who was wondering if they're gonna buy this game. Not because $30 is a lot of money, because $30 is not a lot of money. Imagine playing this game for a thousand hours, which probably a lot of people are going to do, and uh, divide that by, you know, 30, or however it goes. No, divide 30 by a thousand, that's how it goes, yeah. That is three cents an hour, uh, that's not a lot. Uh, but spending $30 on the game is not a lot, it doesn't even matter if it's uh, the full price or not. The real thing that you're gonna spend on this game is time because you're gonna try to get into a server and it's not gonna work you're gonna try to get things to work and it's not gonna work things doesn't work uh, this building here for example it didn't work which is why I decided to make this video with uh, me talking I don't really do much talking videos but um, in this one I uh, uh, didn't want to throw the vi footage away because you know it's a kind of sh cool ship this is kind of similar to most of the videos that I make it's like a speed build thing but um, this one is different because it didn't work and uh, I wasn't gonna, you know, make it into a video because uh, there was a problem. Uh, so I didn't manage to finish it. The problem was that uh, I had too many pieces on the building. So like the platform size, uh, there's like a, you can only have like 400 or something pieces on this building. I don't know exactly what the size is, but that was obviously stupid of me to, you know, not think about that before starting building. But, of course, I thought that since there's an option in the menu, you know, um, to change the max platform uh, limit, you know, change it to be like uh, five times as much. Since it's an option to do that, then it should be possible to do that. But apparently that option didn't work. So, you know, it's broken amongst a lot of other things. Like, for example, take a look at this. Oh, I'm just gonna place this here. Uh, oh, I mean here. Uh, no, here. Here. Uh, uh, we're placing this here. Yeah. No. Okay. What about here? No. No. Not here. Oh. Okay. I can place place it here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Things not being placed where you you know put them is a huge recurring problem in the building system of this game, and it's extremely frustrating, and it makes you more than break shit. But compared to the uh, server problems and shit, that is not a big deal at all, you know? That's something that you can... You can live with, kind of. You can... you just gotta... You know, it makes it a little more clunky and, uh, you know, that's annoying. But it's not as bad as not being able to get into a server. I, I know that G-Portal, they've gone out of their way to make at least their servers work and their customer service is great. So, if you're gonna play this game, I'd uh, I'd say get a G portal uh, server and play privately. There's no single player in this game, which is absolutely uh, very very sad for those of us who enjoy uh, building, because you know building on single player is so much more awesome than building on a server because you gotta you know, have internet working and everything, and there's a little bit of lag and you know stuff. So for those of us that has played this game too long to be able to refund it, link is in the description for a discount. And uh, uh, I'm not sponsored by GPortal at all, uh, promised. Uh, <coughs> I am, obviously, but um, I, it's still true. Anyways, if you do want to build in this game and you, like me, enjoy 
creative building and, you know, not farming for hours and hours and hours for something that's gonna break in uh, minutes, then these cheats here might be quite useful. So, uh, first, you, you gotta do enable cheats. So, in order to open the panel, you press insert and then you type in the, the cheat. But you might not be able to press insert. Sometimes I've had to just uh, go into uh, the, the key bindings menu to uh, just fix the, the key because sometimes insert uh, just, I don't know, didn't work. Anyways, uh, in order to make you admin, do enable cheats and then type in your uh, you know admin password. Then some nice cheats are uh, cheat fly. You always have to have uh, cheat before the cheat. Cheat and then space and then fly. Fly makes you, um, you know, fly, quite obvious one. And uh, then you can go back to walking by cheat walk. Uh, cheat GCM is very nice. It um, makes you able to, you know, craft, craft everything. It makes you invincible. It makes you, you know, have everything. All engrams uh, uh, be invincible. Did I say that? You know, all all stuff. GCM makes you powerful. It makes it so that you can just click on something and then spawn it. Um, that only works for wood, obviously, but um, it also teaches you how to build things in stone. So, but you gotta go in the smithy for, for that though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, anyways, another one is uh, add experience uh, 1000, you know, that gives you 1000 experience. I don't know what 0 and 1 means after that, but uh, you know, type, type that. Uh, next one here, GM Summon Hydra. Um, you can replace the name Hydra with uh, anything else, like uh, Shark, for example. Just tr try out every single creature that you could possibly imagine. And maybe you can spawn them, and maybe they're gonna attack you and kill you, or maybe you're gonna be able to tame them, or I don't know. Uh, shark, horse, fish, anything. SSF Galleon is also very nice. That's the one that I used in order to spawn this beautiful, beautiful ship here. Um, then it spawns with the sails and everything else that it needs. Uh, usually when you make the Galleon, when you make it in your large shipyard, which is what you need in order to make it, then you only start with the skeleton. You gotta add the sails, you gotta add, you know, planks, you know, all around it. You gotta add uh, everything, and it's very hard to make. Uh, if you replace Galleon with the name of any of the other ships, you'll get, you know, the other ships. So, the next one there is GFI Stone Base 100. If you replace one, you'll get, you know, more than one. If you replace it with a thousand, you'll get a thousand stone. If you replace the word stone with, for example, thatch, you will get thatch. If you replace it with wood, you'll get wood. If you replace it with balls, you'll get balls. No, you won't get balls. Anyways, set time of day, 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or, you know, 9.30 or whatever, will make it into 8 o'clock, which is very nice, because then you can force it to not be night. I don't know if it's possible to freeze time, but I know that it's possible to change the time. Right now you can see on the screen, can't place wood square ceiling. There are already too many structures on this platform. That uh, that is why I had to just scrap this thing and make it into a talky, 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 uh, annoying uh, video. And uh, by annoying, I mean genius. And this build build here was something that I did just to like. I, I tried to make it on a smaller boat because you know well, maybe I can fit all of the things there. But uh, then suddenly the HUD HUD thing uh, just disappeared. I think they actually fixed that, and a lot of people had that problem, but you know, that was quite frustrating, and bugs like that is just limitless. So, um, you know, that's what caused me to make this video talking about stuff instead of making epic speed builds. I do feel uh, still that I've been a little too negative in this video, because there's so much positive things to say about this game. For example, I can paint this thing, and I can paint it red. and. I don't know, it, it's, it's just being able to do that with a ship like this, it just makes me so excited for how this game is going to be like in the future once they actually manage to fix it. For now, you know, stay stay away, don't waste your time. I'm not gonna say don't buy it, even though I already said that, so that's kind of a little too late right now, but 
Um, it's not really a big deal, I think, if you spend $30, because $30 is not a lot. But, as I've said, it's a lot of time spent uh, on something that doesn't work. That's not a good way of spending your time. Um, but look at this guy. Look at how awesome he is. Uh, I just spawned him with, you know, the Hydra command that I showed you earlier. Another thing that I would like to mention about the building system in this game is that you can cycle through the different structures by using the key T. So you can cycle from your wall to um, uh, windows, to doors, to railings, to fences, and all of those are basically just the same structure. It's the same with ceilings, you cycle through um, square ceilings to, um, you know, ceilings with holes in them. Uh, to triangles, so there's triangles in this game, which is makes it a uh, huge upgrade to the uh, prequel uh, <coughs> See what I did that? <coughs> uh, very funny. Yes, I know. Anyways, I'm quite excited about this game starting to work But uh, for now, gotta say, stay away and have a good day and a happy new year